back at you sometimes think like say what could have been and today's like a case of that in that we look back at say hey obviously we looked at the uh peter cushing doctor who films so at one point there was almost a third but it never happened perhaps it'd be interesting to actually discuss and then analyze why but why did it not happen what? Why don't we get through this at first? Because you know who we are. For you. So if you didn't know, there was two films um that were two films starring Peter Cushing as Doctor Who, but I just call it Doctor. The Doc. Oh, uh, involving like say the first two films. What, the first one was a remake of the Dalek serial. And the second one was basically um, in a way the same in which the Daleks have in a way taken over the Earth in the future. So in a way they are having to try to help them help the humans of this time period stop. And however, like, see, there was a thought of trying to make a third film. <laughs> Tonight, we will complete the war, which our ancestors should have won many centuries ago. Destroy the past! Sadly, like, what? But, I like, say, even though, like, you know, like, a lot of films probably partially like these, those two films, um, the second film was not a humongous success. So, like, when they fight, they say, how do we do this? How do we do this? So, what was done was, they thought, huh, why don't we try to make a third film based on the third serial, The Chase? Which seemed, you know, fun. To defy Daleks is dead. We always come on. The operation will proceed at once. <laughs> they must be destroyed. Like, hmm, this could work. As it, you know, like, had, like, you know, the Daleks chasing the TARDIS so many time, times and various locations and all that. So, you know, you know, it would have been gone for the Empire State Building and all that. Our boxes for terms for the second film were not strong enough for them to say, hmm, should we even really be doing this and all that? So, one thing they would finally say, okay, so there would have been, like, you know, initial stages and plans along with sketches for this film. However, in 2022, um, the son of them, hey, oh, so about these, um, with these filing costs of producing so many Dalek cha casings for filming, it seemed physically impossible to mount a third picture. Because, yes, both of the films had the Daleks as them, and, you know, both of the films had them in a way being damaged and, like, you know, several moments all of the film. So, you know, you have to have these things created and at the same time be prepared to be damaged in a way. Be like say, okay, we need to make sure that these can be either like, you know, smashed and at the same time, okay, these are gonna be so broken that they can be used again. And there was even um, further agreements to, you know, you know, get it try to get the rights to make a third film, which, you know, it didn't happen. It was at the same time, it wasn't going to be like it seemed like vague vibes as the original film. So, you know, the vibes that it had would have been similar to like trying to be, okay, um, a family unit, you know, like going through and facing off against one of the doctors. You know, antagonists. Come on, please, let's investigate over here. No machines, no voices, and there aren't any birds. That bloke must have hit me harder than I thought. And it would have been called um, the Doctor's Greatest Adventures. The film would have seen Cushing's Doctor team up with a younger Doctor to fight an army of mutant crabs. It sounds pretty cool, honestly. Like you know, like say. Crab creatures that are just going like, rrr, rrr, like, spinally, like, 
you know, you can see almost a nightmare feel, almost like say, if they could have been to do it with the practical effects, that would have been pretty cool, honestly. Um, and the script was reversed from a horror uh, film entitled, entitled Night of Crabs, and, and like, you know, you say sometimes, um, you know, some Star Trek stories aren't, you know, being able to make on a small screen. Some of them probably weren't really like, say, we had the budget for the, you know, put this on the big screen. Because that is, because yes, episodes for the show can have, like, you know, a larger budget. Because sometimes, you know, you're gonna have the actors that are gonna be, like, say, hmm, this is gonna be a draw for this episode. Or this is gonna be, like, the practical effects of this one that's gonna be draw. But sometimes you gotta feel like, say, what a, because, you know, although the fans of the show, how are you gonna be able to get them to be, say, yes, big screen. So one thing that would eventually lead to was, in 1996 was the Paul McGann uh, film as the Ape Doctor. And Which is why we have no time to waste. But time to change! I always dress for the occasion. And looking back, yeah, I could have liked that film. It was pretty good. Um. Do you think it would have been cool to if we gotten a third Peter Cushing Doctor Who film? Actually, I think that would have been pretty cool. I kind of like the, uh, the 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 vibes that it, those two films give off. The you know sense of adventure, the sense of at times even the goofiness that they have, and the practical effects that they had for them were pretty nice. And um, looking back, but what's your thoughts on it? As I feel like I got to get out of here, I can hear that timey wimey. Stuff going off. See you later.